like the concentration is in accumulation of objects. Let me have more, more, more. And there's nothing wrong with being wealthy or accumulating more wealth, but losing sight from life that everything is temporarily, everything has a life sh shelf life, and it's only going to be for a period of time, and it all can disappear at any moment. All of it can be gone like this. And it's interesting that how many times you have to see this happen? How many times this has to happen to you? How many times you have to see that people die? Or people around you die? Or you lose things? That you got all these things, but you cannot hang on to them. And they come and go. I mean, how many times life has to show you this? That everything is always changing. I mean, look at our world. Prior to February 15th, or I mean, Je March 15th or March 1st, we had a different world. And then what happened to our world? That world that we knew is gone. I mean, isn't that a good example? What else do we need? I mean, how many people around you died? What is it we have to go through to get it? And yet, we don't get it, or we don't want to look at it. Somehow you brush it under the rug, as if it doesn't happen. It's not going to happen to you. It's right in front of us, and it's happening all the time. It's so clear. And it's not a bad thing. Death is not a bad thing. It's a transition. Because the I am remains the I am. Anybody else? Any other questions? It's interesting because when uh, it always it points out to the power of love. That uh, Katie, you mentioned that you lost your father, but you feel your father very strong in your heart, and you feel the love, and the love is not gone. The love actually is stronger than before. So. And even the bonding maybe got stronger. Yeah, it's like love. Yeah, I'm going to unmute you. Okay, I unmuted you. Absolutely. Um, my bond with my dad. My dad and I were close anyway because I was with them and taking care of them, you know, all the way to hospice. But, you know, every day, you know, taking care of my dad 24-7. And then when he passed, and this is a wild thing, too, when he passed. He passed in our um, house, at my family's house. Um, and my brother was there. My younger brother was there. And I told him, you better get over here. You know, he's going to pass. And we both saw um, our outside light just totally, it was like a sun. It just kind of, it was that night, and it just kind of, expanded and I'm going oh my god you know they're coming uh you know the family the angels or the divine is coming to help my dad and transition and my and my brother saw did you see that and I go yeah I saw that and my dad passed you know peacefully and after that my dad has been always here with me um he's I mean I feel him all the time. Um, we had a, a riot here um, with those riots, you know, that was going on. Mm -hmm. It was down the street, and uh, I heard my dad just go, be calm, 
and just lock everything down. You're okay. And I was, wow. you know, I mean, it, it's that type of divine, you know, coming in. And I, I guess I'm trying to say, just hear it. Just try to hear your your relatives or a person that you deeply love, um, and they will help you. Just call on, on them. You know, going, hey, I, I need help, and they will come. He will, he's always here for me. Absolutely. Beautiful. You know I mean? so, yeah. It's just, you know, and it's even, but like you say, it's even more intense now than I, you know, he's here, you know, when I'm sleeping, when I'm up and with my plants, <laughs> they're all gardeners and my dad's out there, you know, helping me going, you know, pointing things out. <laughs> Guiding you is yeah, kind of exactly. taking the role of your, your higher self, your guide. So I'm, I'm very, you know, I have not afraid of death or, you know, anything of that sort. You know, I'm like you kind of looking forward like, oh, this is going to be adventure, you know, so. Exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Congratulations. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> so good. So good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Hi, Breda. Hi, hello. Um, I turn up the volume. Um, you may not want to go there because it's not directly on our topic of today. I have no, but it is a continuum of the same. I have no problem with anything you said today. I'm absolutely uh, in unity with you and have experienced that many, many times with relatives, friends, and with my own advanced years as well. <clears throat> and I have no fear of death. The The question that's sort of buzzing around in my mind, which you may choose to answer or not, is um, how much of this life is based on previous lives, or do we have some free freedom to choose our kind of contracts or what we're working out in this life? Or when we transition, which you have described so beautifully, um, are our relatives uh, that we've known in this life, do they continue in ways, in other lives, or et cetera, et cetera? Have you anything to say about that? It's just it's of great interest to me because certainly we connect with them. They are dead, but they're living within us and they're living in our spirits and our consciousness. We zip over or zip to a different dimension and then when we zip off to back to Earth again, when, how, how does it work out? Would you care to comment, please? Right. Yeah, sure. That's a great one. Thank you for asking this. I, as far as I know, which I know very little, um, is when, before we're born, Ishvara, great Lord God, is writing a script for us and so it's like these are the lessons you need to learn so it's like they write this script for you this is your life you're gonna go there and these are the players that are gonna come with you your mom your dad you're gonna be landing in this family this is gonna be your dad that's gonna be your mom whether they're abusive or they're loving or whatever is the scenario we land in this particular situation because there's certain life lessons we have to learn. It's already written and there's no choice in it. So you just go, let's say, you know, somebody, let's, let's say they lost their child. She was 30 years old. She died at age 30 or died at age 13 or 14. And of course, for a parent, it's very, very difficult to lose their child. 